Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much as always for your support. I truly, truly appreciate it. So today I'm here to do the video that I promised you guys I would, which is the VCA Beginner's Guide. So um, I did one for Cartier and you guys found it really helpful. So I wanted to do a video on Van Cleef and Arpels. Um, because I've learned a lot of things about this brand and I wanted to share that knowledge with all of you guys. So with that said, let's jump right into it. So I'm not really going to go into the history or the background of Van Cleef and Arpels because this is more of a practical and I don't want to make this video overly long. So to me, the two most popular luxury jewelry brands have to be Cartier and Van Cleef and Arpels. And the pieces that are really popular in Cartier are more industrial looking. They're more like really like everyday pieces that you can just wear without worry. Whereas Van Cleef and Arpels are known a lot for their Alhambra line. And then the Perlet line is also very, very popular. It's the one with the beads. And whereas Cartier is a lot more like sleek and clean lined, Van Cleef and Arpels is more, I guess, daintier, more intricate, more feminine, and um, I guess a bit more playful as well. So um, let me just share with you guys what I have laid out in front of me. And I do have a few more things on the side. When you purchase a piece from Van Cleef and Arpels, it usually comes wrapped really beautifully. There is a outer um, gift wrap around it, which is a gray shade. It's a shimmery kind of gray. Um, very beautiful and then they have their green ribbons I've also seen packaging where it is um, they have attached a intricate butterfly to it because that's another um, motif that uh, Van Cleef and Arpels is really known for when you purchase online they will come in a receipt it will look like this in this kind of envelope oops like that but when you purchase from the boutique, they come in this beautiful envelope. Usually the sales associate will have their card there and then the receipt will be behind. So, um, and then it always comes with a certificate of authenticity. And here you can see this is the original VCA store, an image of it. And it's um, Place Vendôme since 1906. So and then it comes with a care advice and service booklet. It also comes with the certificate of authenticity. And I believe these were changed before. I hear they were a little bit different. I don't know what the exact differences was, but recently it looks like this. Um, it all has... Can you see the motifs on there? It's a beautiful, beautiful um, sheet and it is um, textured. And apologies for my hands. Um, I, it was Memorial Day weekend and we did a lot of yard work. So I am banged up. Like I have scratches everywhere and my nails look horrible. So please do not look at those. But I really wanted to get this guide video out for you guys. So, so yeah, just ignore my hands, please. <laughs> and on the back side, and let me just cover this up slightly. So it has um, the hologram right here. You can see um, it has the serial number, the reference number. So the item number was here and then the date of purchase. And um, you will have a stamp like so. I purchased this from the e-boutique, so it has the e-boutique stamp. If you purchase it from a different location, it will come with that location's unique stamp. So yeah, that's what that looks like. Even when you purchase online, you will get a travel pouch. So for this purchase, this one right here, the Onyx 5 motif, I got a bracelet pouch that looks like this. It is the travel pouch. It has two buttons and it has this um, area where you can um, kind of fix your bracelet onto so that it is flat. And yeah, it's very, very nice and I really like that. When I purchased the Sweet Alhambra from Neiman Marcus, the SA so kindly put it in this little pouch right here. And yeah, it has like a divider here, um, but yeah, it's a really cute little pouch. It's tiny. So when I did send this in for service, um, because I did get it slightly extended, um, she told me, my essay told me to send it back to her in the travel pouch. And she said, don't send the original case because it's so bulky. Um, and so I sent it in this little travel pouch. 
but when it came back, it came back in this bigger pouch, which is really big for the item that it is. And I really liked um, having this smaller pouch because I keep, um, I keep it in my kitchen in one of the drawers because when I'm cooking and stuff, I like to take my items off, I'll take my rings off and I put it in here and I put it in the drawer and I found that really useful. So I told her, you know what? Like, I really like the smaller pouch. Can I get an exchange? And she said, no, you know what? I'm just going to send you one. So she sent me this. This came with the, this came with the alteration and this she sent me. When you purchase online they also included the vca shopping bag which i thought that was really kind of them to do because a lot of times you know the online stores don't always give these to you and when i did purchase from neiman marcus my sweet alhambra i did ask my essay i said i really love the packaging so i would really appreciate it if you could include everything and she was like yeah of course i will and so she did send um, the shopping bag and everything. She also gave me a little booklet. If you guys wanna see what it looks like, um, please go to my unboxing video, which I will have linked below. Um, I'll have the unboxing of the Sweet Alhambra and the Onyx, and then also another video on the Onyx piece that I got um, regarding the shake test, which I will go over in this video too. But yeah, I will link all of those down below if you're interested. So yeah, that's all that's included when you click. So let me first go over where to purchase your items from. Van Cleef & Arpels has the e-boutique. It also has the regular standalone boutiques. But in case you weren't aware, Neiman Marcus also carries Van Cleef & Arpels and they have their own VCA boutique inside of their stores. These stores are owned by Neiman Marcus. They are not owned by VCA. So basically what my essay was telling me is all the merchandise is Neiman Marcus. And so all the return policies and everything follows the Neiman Marcus rules and not the VCA boutique rules. And they are different because in the boutiques, the VCA standalone boutique, you can only do exchanges or store credit. You cannot get returns. If you purchase from Neiman Market, you do get to do returns within 30 days. And another perk of purchasing through Neiman Market would be that you can use Neiman Market gift cards towards the purchase. And you can also, um, I know Neiman Market does the special financing. I don't know when you are eligible for that or if they have it all the time, but they do like interest-free um, payments. And so you can take advantage of that if that's something that you need to now, do. The Van Cleef & Arpels e-boutique is completely different from the boutiques because the e-boutique, it is free shipping and free returns and you do get to um, do returns within 30 days. Um, they do send you the label. Actually, the label is included inside of the original packaging and you do have to call the customer service to get an RMA number. So it's really, really easy to do returns um, online. So shipping from all three of these boutiques, um, the essays usually will provide you complimentary overnight shipping. So a great tip is if you do find an item online that is out of stock, I've been told that you can call the customer service agents. They will then locate the items at different boutiques for you. And what they do is you can purchase it through them and you will get it sent from the boutique directly to you. However, the policies of the e-boutique will be in effect. So basically, you'll be getting the item from the boutique, but you will still be able to process returns through the online services. That's what I've been told. I have not done that personally but it is definitely something you can ask the customer service agent when you are placing the order. So I thought that was a really great tip that you don't really think about. Also, the e-boutique does take PayPal as a payment method. That's another option that you don't have at the other two places. Neiman Marcus obviously will take all credit cards as well as Neiman Marcus um, credit cards, and you will get points for the purchase. And at the boutiques, obviously they will take all major credit cards. This is Future Kim, and I just wanted to come back on here because I realized I didn't talk about the pre-love market. And you guys know that I really do love purchasing from the pre-love market. I think it has a lot of benefits. But when you are purchasing these items on the pre-love market, there are some 
really key points that you need to consider. The first thing is, it's going to be really hard for you to tell the exact condition of the item just by looking at pictures, especially because you can't check for air gaps, you cannot check for loose stones, and a lot of times the pre-loved market will not have a return policy. Um, I guess if you purchase it from like Fashion File, it's pretty safe because they do have a very, very good return policy, but other places you do have to be cautious. Um, another thing is I don't know specific places that authenticate jewelry pieces. Um, when I was purchasing my Cartier pieces pre-love, the best method for Cartier is actually to take it to the store and um, request like um, a quote for maybe a full-on polish or something like that. They will then run the numbers and make sure that the item is in the system. And by doing that, they say, okay, we'll take this in and ask for a quote. Um, then you know that because the serial numbers have been run and that it is an existing item in the system, it's pretty easy to know that that item is authentic. But for VCA, it's a bit more difficult because if you have an older piece, um, sometimes that the number will no longer be in their system. And I found out that in order for VCA to authenticate it and, you know, do whatever repairs that is necessary, it is $1,800 for them to verify it. Yes. So say, for instance, you purchased a bracelet, you want it to be shortened, you take it in, the number is not in their system, they're going to charge you $1,800 to verify that it is an authentic VCA piece. And to go ahead and proceed with the necessary aftercare. So, so that is something that you really need to think about before purchasing, especially an older item. And um, the older hooks look different from the current hooks. So I'm going to put a picture of what the current ones look like and what the older hooks look like. So you definitely, definitely do have to take more precautions when you're buying these VCA pieces pre-loved. So if the price difference is not significant, if you were to purchase one of these pieces that was more recent, say say it was from 2020, and you wanted to get it shortened, well, you're going to have to pay $200 on top of whatever you bought the pre-loved item for. And so that's something that you really want to consider before you purchase um, VCA items pre-loved. So then the next question is, what is the benefit of purchasing from a boutique? Okay, well, number one, if you can connect with a good essay, a lot of times the boutique essays, especially if you are recommended to them by somebody else that you know, or you know, you can always go on the purse forum or Facebook groups and ask for recommendations and the people there will probably give you good recommendations. Um, the benefits through that is a lot of times, I will not say all the time, but many times if they do have um, the ability to, they will send you extras. I've seen people who get like coffee table books or they get like chocolates and other little perks like that are possible if you purchase through an essay. So that would be the benefit of going through an essay. And another big difference between purchasing online and purchasing through an essay is that the essays usually are able to take pictures of multiple items and send them to you to choose, which comes to my next section, which is looking at the different stones. Let me just go over the stones that are available. So, so for the sweet Alhambra styles, um, they come in the mother of pearl, as you see here, and the mother of pearl is available in this clover motif or the butterfly motif, and they are both in yellow gold. The carnelian is the red stone. It's beautiful. Um, it comes in the clover motif or it comes in a heart motif and it is rose gold and only in rose gold. You do not have a choice. For both of these stones, it's really nice to have an essay send you pictures of the stones itself because for the mother of pearl, a lot of times you see variations in this, um, in the shade and the shimmer so a lot of times you'll see like a beautiful rainbow effect and you want to check both sides um if you see on this side it kind of has like a gray streak in the middle that sometimes in some kind of lights it looks like a flaw a lot of times you'll see a little bit of imperfection on each piece 
And so if you have an essay and they have multiples, they will be able to show you pictures of them and let you choose which looks best to you. So that is a really big benefit of getting it through an essay. And for the carnelian, carnelian is a red stone and the colors are very different. So some of them are bright red, some of them are a medium toned, and some can be very, very dark red. And so especially for a stone like carnelian, you really, really want to um, have a look at it before you choose it because yeah, it, it really does look different. And so you really want one that you love. When it comes to the sweet pieces, because the motif is so tiny, like, I mean, it's smaller than my fingernail, as you can see, um, it doesn't make as huge of a difference as if it would be for the five motifs. And the five motifs come in a variety of stones. I cannot even go over all of them because there are so many. And for these motifs, because the motifs are a lot bigger in size, I definitely, definitely think you should, and if you have a boutique, go in person to see it. If you are like me and you do not have a boutique, then you definitely want an essay to take pictures. It's better to really, you know, be able to look at them and choose them before you um, actually commit to a piece. The safest stone to purchase online would actually be the onyx because the onyx does not have a huge variation. It's not a see-through stone because a lot of times the, the stones will be kind of like see-through, whereas the onyx is completely black. You do not see, <laughs> you, do, you don't really see anything. If there is an item that is pretty safe to purchase sight unseen, it would be the onyx. And for the other stuff, I would say that the um, sweet sizes are pretty safe to purchase online. Just because the motifs are so small, you don't have to worry about it too much, right? So the next thing that you definitely want to check is the air gaps. And I mentioned this in that video that I shared regarding my exchange of the Onyx bracelet, the first one that I got. What air gaps are, are is um, basically the space between the stone itself and the setting. And because these VCA pieces, all stones are cut by hand and they are also set inside of the settings by hand. And because of that, the gap between the stone and the setting can be different. So some are very, very tightly fitted inside of there while others have a bigger gap. The air gaps are unavoidable. Like every single piece will have it, but some will be slightly more visible than others when you put it up to the light. So depending on how much it bothers you, it might not bother you at all. But as you saw in my um, previous video, um, if you do have a bit of a bigger gap, it could mean that you have a bit of a looser stone. And so this is where the shake test comes in. Um, Kim Curated, who is amazing. I follow her on YouTube and I have for years, as well as Instagram. Um, she shared on her Instagram, she was cleaning her onyx bracelet and she realized that she could hear it rattling. And so that's why she shared it on her Instagram. And basically what she did was pull the bracelet and you don't hear a thing, right? But if you do have looser stones, if possibly if you have bigger gaps, you will hear something like this. And not only the sound, but when you do this, feel the vibration. So I can feel the stone vibrating when I pull the chain like that. And if it is moving a bit too much, it may need to be repaired or um, taken care of. Um, I did get an update from Kim that she took her um, Onyx bracelet that rattled the one in her um, Instagram reel back to the boutique and they did check it and said that hers was rattling a bit too much and so they sent it to the head office to get tightened um, and she has it back now and she said she still hears a tiny little bit of rattling but it wasn't nearly as much as she had shared in that video. Rattling does not necessarily mean that your item is defective 
So don't get scared if you already own this piece and you try it and you hear it. But um, if you are purchasing brand new and you have a choice of bracelets in front of you, it's always nice to get the one that doesn't make that noise. So, so yeah, that's a test or something that you can check for. I don't think it's really as important um, for the Onyx piece because Onyx does not necessarily shrink, but Mother of Pearl does. And as you can see, my Mother of Pearl bracelet has lived on my wrist 24 seven, except when I take a shower. That's the only time I do remove it, but it is in water constantly. So I think that there might have been shrinkage that has happened since I've had this piece, which it's, it's probably a year since I've gotten it. So if you are purchasing a Mother of Pearl piece, you already have it slightly rattling from the get go, then chances are it's going to get looser as you wear it because contact with water is unavoidable. So I feel like for a Mother of Pearl piece, it's important to check in the beginning so that you don't end up making the gap bigger. You know? So then you may be wondering, oh my gosh, I invested so much money in these pieces. What do I do if something happens? Well, VCA customer service is amazing they and that will replace the stones. Obviously, you will have to pay for it. Considering the original price of the piece, the replacement is not steep. For the sweet size, it is $180 to replace the stone. The bracelet itself retails for $1,250 or $1,280. I'm not sure which it was. Well, there's only one motif in the center, and that's like the gist of the whole bracelet, and you pay that much for it. To replace the stone, it's only $180. So I think that's really, really amazing. For the five motif, the vintage size, I'm told it is $280. When you think of it, if I had to replace all five stones for whatever reason, that would be less than half the price of the entire bracelet, which I think is amazing, right? Because the stones is what makes this bracelet. So I just really feel that that is phenomenal that they um, offer replacing the stones for such a good price. And my essay had said CA really wants to serve their customers and they take the price of you initially purchasing the piece into consideration. So I think that's amazing. So as for initial alterations that you can do um, regarding um getting your chains either extended or reduced. Alterations are free within three months of purchase. They can either make it smaller or make it bigger, whichever you need to do. And usually it takes two weeks. So for online boutiques, it takes two weeks. Um, at Neiman Marcus, it takes two weeks. But I am told that if you have the repair facilities, like I think New York has the repair facilities and I think a boutique in Las Vegas has it, there might be other places that do, um, but yeah, in that case, it can the turnaround time can be like twenty four to thirty six hours, which is so. I did um, change this um, sweet Alhambra. I asked to have this long part extended by four millimeter, and they were able to do that. It took exactly two weeks. Exactly. They used to be able to add jumpers, so like you could ask to have an additional jumper added, but they are no longer doing that. So, um, and my essay said was from corporate. They said that you are not allowed to take orders for um, jumpers. I don't know if you can still ask them to do that for a fee, but they said that um, they were not doing that anymore. Um, they used to do it, but they changed the policy last summer in 2020. Always check with your essay what can and cannot be done. But yeah, that's what I had done. Now for the vintage, um, I am currently debating whether or not I'm going to have it reduced because it is quite big. It's 19.5 centimeters. I don't know what it is in inches. Um, it might be eight inches, but it's 19.5 centimeters. And when I wear it, it dangles. Let me show you like it has that much room so it is definitely big on me and um some people really prefer to have it long like this um it's it doesn't bother me but when i stack it with other pieces 
and I do that, it does get all tangled up, as you can see. Whereas if you had it a little bit tighter and adjusted it, then it doesn't tangle up as easily, as you can see. So, so yeah, I'm definitely thinking of having links removed, which comes to my next point is about the links. So the confusing thing about Van Cleef and Arpels when I was doing the research on my own was the definition of a link. So when you think of a link, you, you think, think of, of one of these chains, right? Or at least I did. What I have found out is at VCA, when they refer to a link, it means a link of two circles together. So a link would be this linked together. So removing one link is removing two circles. And VCA will reduce them so that it doesn't interfere with the integrity of the piece. So they won't just reduce one link for you. It's either two links or four links or six links. Usually when they remove two links, let me show you, they never remove the links from the end pieces. When they remove two links, they'll remove two circles from here and two circles from here. When they remove four links, it will be two circles here, 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 and here for a total of eight circles, four links. And when you remove two links, that makes the length of the bracelet seven inches. And when you remove four links, it makes the length of the bracelet six and a half inches. And then every two links would mean an additional half inch difference. I would prefer to have the two links removed from here because I like when I do this, let me show you, and let me show you it, what it would look like. It makes these two motifs closer. And so on my wrist, I feel like it looks better when you can see all three of them slightly. Whereas if I had it in the original length, you can barely see the outer two motifs. So I actually, if I want to reduce it, I think I need to reduce it by two links only because I don't want it to be like tight on my wrist at all. I think this bracelet looks better, slightly looser. So I would prefer to have two links removed from the inner pieces so I need to check and see if that can be done and if they can do that I think that's what I will request so I will update you guys after I have the links removed um, what it looks like on me and just give you a quick update on that um, whenever I get that done and I think that's about it um, it's a super long video but I really wanted to share all the information that i had with you guys there are things about earrings and necklaces that i've heard um, that i've researched as well but i i just focused on the bracelets because that's what i own um and i knew that if i went into all the other items then it would just take way 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 too long to film but i really really hope that you guys find this helpful if you have any questions please leave them down in the comment section below and i'd be happy to help you out as best as i could if you like this video and found it helpful i would really really appreciate a thumbs up because it really does help my channel and um i would really appreciate if you would subscribe as well and if there's anything else that you wanted me to go over, please let me know and I'll try to film an update video um, because I do plan to get links removed from the Onyx bracelet and I can update you guys on that. And with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in my next one. Take care, everybody.